We have two families of owls. 219 are in one family, which Friendly's included in, and then the barn owl is separate all by itself. Mm. So 219 in one, and then the barn owl. The barn owl is the most widely distributed owl in the world. Uh, they have a higher metabolism than most. They eat 30% of their body weight daily. So, you know, an 800 gram owl is going to eat several mice or a rat every day. They can have babies any time of the year, just like a pigeon, as long as they have a warm, dry place and a rodent population to feed on. And the biggest noted is 13 babies in a clutch. On the island, seven is the biggest noted, but worldwide, 13. Can you imagine 30% of your body weight per year or per day? Uh, 13 babies breed any time of the year. If you're a farmer, there's no better creature to have on your farm because they cycle with the rodents like I'm from the East Coast, the fox and the rabbit are in a seven year, seven year cycle where they chase each other through peaks and valleys. Yeah, so uh, super important population. And then within those 220, there's uh, crepuscular owls diurnal owls and nocturnal owls. So almost everybody knows about nocturnal animals. They are the animals of the night, the nocto. And she is a nocturnal, or sorry, she is a crepuscular owl. And crepuscular animals hunt at dusk and dawn. So she is the swing shift hunter. And then of course the diurnal owls are day owls. So some of our little owls hunt insects and crickets and stuff like that. So they come out in the daytime like the pygmies. And we actually did a telemetry program on pygmy owls several years ago because very little was known about them. And we happened to have a few at the center that had to overwinter because they were young ones and we kept them all winter to make sure we had a good chance. And we put little tiny three gram radio backpacks we had constructed in Hollow Hill, Ontario and mounted them on the backs and we tracked them for 21 days to see where they slept, where they ate, where they hunted, where they hung around different hours of the days. So I got to do that pretty intensively for 21 days. It was a real treat. And then we caught them up and took their little backpacks off and let them go do what a pygmy owl does. Which, in my opinion, is kill shrews. And that's what I always seen them eating with shrews. Was it just